Hi, this is John Dreyer for Fender University, and I'm here with Ryan Zaleski, Senior Design Engineer, Acoustic Division. In this video, we will show you how to properly tighten the banjo head. Now, if you're, you have just bought a brand new banjo and you're taking it fresh out of the box, chances are the head will be a little bit loose, so Ryan's here to show us how to tighten it up. Well, first, I went ahead and took off most of the thumb screws which hold the resonator to the flange. I'll go ahead and remove the last one now so that we can access all of the lugs that tighten the head. So as we're doing this, just real quick, so, you know, brand new banjo out of the box, the head's a little bit loose. Is that on purpose or is that just, it just well, softens up or loosens up? Well, the heads tend to stretch, uh, okay. kind of like guitar strings do, and so they do loosen up after the initial installation. Uh, and additionally, uh, we don't want to risk any damage to the heads and leaving them loose uh, somewhat loose during shipment helps mitigate any Got of that. It. Okay. After you've removed all of the thumb screws that hold the resonator to the flange, you can remove the banjo assembly from the resonator and set that aside. Now we'll be looking at the back of the banjo and you can see all of the different lugs here uh, which hold the head tight. What you want to do to tighten them is essentially uh, what you would do to tighten lug nuts on a car tire, uh, where you basically, you know, start off on one side and move towards the opposite lug on the other side. And you're basically tightening it kind of a fraction of a turn, maybe half to two thirds of a turn at a time. And you kind of want to go around a circle in that same sort of pattern. So how do we know when we're at proper adjustment or proper tension of, for the head? Well, really, uh, it can become a feel thing. You can get these lugs very tight, and um, as long as they're all relatively the same tension going around, you should be able to flip the banjo over, tap on the head, and hear relatively the same pitch same note pitch. all the it. way okay. around. Yeah. Now, what happens if, unfortunately, if I go too tight? Well, there's a few yeah. things that could happen. If you go too tight, you yeah. can actually risk uh, breaking or damaging the head, especially if you have your banjo uh, tuned up to pitch because of the tension that is uh, put on the bridge. Uh, but also, if you go too tight, you can uh, really severely diminish your bass response while you're playing. So you'll notice a sonic difference if you tighten it too far. Okay. Try to tighten it evenly all the way around. Got it. Okay. So, you know, you're doing a fraction of a turn here, a fraction of a turn here. Uh, you don't want to, for example, make a full turn on this side and then a half turn on the opposite lug. Okay. So to properly ascertain what changes you may have made during the tension adjustment, you're going to need to replace the resonator to the banjo assembly. And we do that the same way that we remove it, only in reverse. So now I've got the resonator back on. I can strum a few notes and compare it to how it sounded before I tighten the head and make further adjustments at that point if needed. Okay. Great, Ron. I appreciate the tips. And for more information, please visit Fender.com forward slash university.